y'all. I'm coming to y'all from our bedroom. Um, we got a new blind this weekend for our bedroom. I don't know if you remember about a month or so ago, our other one broke and um, I just been making do. And so Saturday when James come home, we went to, we started out at Lowe's. Let me tell you, this is a miracle. The Lord is blessed. So we went, we went to Lowe's to get a blind. It's gonna have to be cut. And um, they were like, it was gonna be like a hundred and, like a hundred and thirty-five dollars, twenty-seven. It was either one hundred twenty-seven or one hundred thirty-five. I can't remember exactly. But it was gonna be over a hundred dollars. Well, their machine was down, so they couldn't cut the blind. I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, we can go to Glows and Gaucher, or we can run right here to Home Depot on Pops Ferry. And um, I was like, let's just go to Home Depot. So we went to Home Depot, y'all. I got this blind for ninety-nine, ninety-seven dollars. Yes. I saved money by going to Home Depot. Who knew? For whatever reason, I had looked it up and thought they were way more expensive at Home Depot. But it's the kind that you don't have to have a string to pull it up. You just raise it up. It goes up with so much ease. Um, and I love it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. I mean, I'm sure y'all all seen blinds. It's just the two-inch faux wood blinds. Um, but I have my windows open today. It's such a beautiful day. I've had them open all weekend. Um, it has just been glorious. The only problem with having them up today, for, I think some neighbors across the way have either gotten some new puppies or something. I don't know. They're just barking like crazy, <laughs> but it doesn't go the whole time. They'll bark a little while and then they'll stop. And they'll bark a little while and then they'll stop. I don't know. But anyway, let me flip the camera around and show you. Look at our blind and look y'all. It just goes up so easy. Look at this. It just pulls. Well, watch. It's not even going to do it for me. I pull it or I raise it which I've already had it. And it, I just love it. I love these kind. I have a couple in my house where I've had to swap out some blinds. So yeah, I love it. Love having my windows open. Yay. Fall, love it. Buster is right here. He's right there. <laughs> He's napping. Um, I just finished um, my thrift flip video. Y'all would have already seen. I had to do a little bit of a voiceover. I hate doing voiceovers, but had a little bit of voiceover um, and add the finishing touches to that video. So y'all have already seen that one. Um, and so now I think what I'm gonna do, we're having tacos for dinner tonight. So I've got to run to the grocery store and get some tomatoes and spinach. We, we use spinach in the place of lettuce. So I've got to get that. And I also have to call in a couple prescriptions to pick up for James. So I can do that on my way and just be right there. Um. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna kind of, of course, I'm gonna kind of do some tidying up, like sweep the floors, all that. Um, the house isn't too bad. So, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I know I bought that beautiful picture at Goodwill to go over my couch. And I'm gonna use that, but y'all are not gonna see that until the spring because I held it up there and it just didn't go right now because it is a spring, summer type print. What I have up there now works for fall. And then I'll take it down and I'll ha I have something I put up there for winter, like Christmas and winter, or for Christmas. Um, so, y'all not gonna see the picture until spring. I know, I'm devastated too, because I really love it. <laughs> but, <laughs> James made me a shelf yesterday to go to replace the one that's up there. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know why I haven't thought about this before, but I have hated that shelf that's up there. It's so rinky-dinky. You know, it's just, it's not a substantial size shelf. It doesn't flow. I'll go over there and show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you, let me just show you real quick. Okay, it's just a rinky-dink little shelf. Nothing, nothing to it, right? And I've just, I don't know. It just didn't work. So, I designed a shelf and James built it for me last night. It's out in the garage. I'm gonna go show you what it looks like. We stained it. And when he comes home this afternoon, we're going to hang it up. And I think it's going to look so much better. So let me go out there in the garage and show you what it looks like. You ever just have those moments where just the ideas come to you and you just, I mean, why had I already done this? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I got here to show you. <laughs> I don't know. It just, 
I've not been happy with that spot over my couch for so long and then it just hit me. So let me flip this shelf around and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the top of the shelf. I got him to cut me a little plate thing just in case, but look at this. This is what I did, and I'm gonna have to paint the screws, but we had these already. We had everything except for the board. We, we did have to go buy a board because what he had, um, for whatever reason, it wouldn't work. So we just went and bought one board and then everything else, this is what he cut off of the board width-wise. So we used that, and then he had these scrap pieces of wood. We had these. So all we had to do was buy a board. And look, y'all, this is the shelf that's gonna go over my couch, and it's gonna be so much more fitting for the wall size, in my opinion. So I've gotta go get some black paint and just touch up these little screws, paint them black. And then when he cuts home this afternoon, we're gonna hang this and I'm so excited. So this is my shelf he made me. Ooh, I can't wait. So let me go get me some black paint and touch up these screws real quick. And y'all are not gonna believe what he did a while ago. So he went um, to Georgia this weekend to, buy, to pick up a router table that he bought that he'll be able to use the computer to do like intricate cutouts and all that kind of stuff. Anyway. <laughs> He called me a while ago. He said, um, go out there and measure that table and tell me the width and the length of it. I'm like, I called him up. I said, are you trying to boost my confidence? <laughs> he laughed. So I was like, do you want me to take pictures of it and, and send it to you? Or do you want me to tell you what it is? He said, just tell me. So I hope the measurements was right because y'all know me and my tape measure. But, you know, I'm getting better. So, I don't know if he was trying to boost my confidence or not, but anyway. So, I'm just going to touch up these screws real quick, and I'll be back. Now, isn't that better? Can't even tell. I tried to tell him. He's like, we need some black screws. And I was like, dude, I can paint that. It'll be fine. I promise. So, there we go. I'm so excited about my shelf, y'all. So, your girl here, your girl here has been battling some allergies. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yesterday, my eyes itched so bad. I couldn't even put my contacts in. They hurt so bad. And um, also, my, te my teeth have been hurting because of all the pressure and the, the allergies and the sinuses. <sighs> it's been bad. But I'm better today. Praise God. Well, I don't know what was happening because I was telling y'all all about my day, my weekend, and for whatever reason, it wasn't recording. But what I was telling y'all is Saturday, Sarah texted me, and I didn't film any of it, but she texted me. She was like, hey, do you want to go to some antique stores? I was like, sure. I said, I was just planning on being at home, just going to clean, but um, I can get dressed and we'll go. I said, there's a couple around me. She's like, okay. So we set up a time. She came over, and I didn't film anything because I hadn't seen her in so long. We just spent time together, but um, I took her to the antique store, Antiques and more, the one where I got my bar stools that I sent my friend Melissa, and she absolutely fell in love with that store. She actually bought an item there. And then we went to a different antique store right around the corner, and she found an item there. And they had a lot of furniture and stuff like that, so their prices, well, number one, we wasn't looking for any furniture, but their prices were a little, a little higher, but like I said, they had bigger items, so I guess they were really, you know, spot on. Anyway, so then we left there and we went to the junky little thrift store in Gaucher that I've taken y'all to that I'm like, you would literally spend days in here before you would see everything. And um, I found a lamp there that I would have loved to have had. It needed a lot of work. And I tried to negotiate with them and they just wasn't willing to come down enough for it to be worth my while. So, left that behind. I'm still on the lookout for a lamp. I'm looking for a small vintage floor lamp to go right here. Um, I want a little lamp here, but it, I don't want it to be so tall. Um, and I want it to be kind of petite and short and Anyway, I'll know it when I see it. I haven't found it yet, but I'm kind of on the lookout for that. Um, scour Marketplace, anytime we go to the in, any little antique stores or anything like that, I'm looking. So, you know, I'll find it one day. And if I don't, it's no big deal either. 
But we had a great time. I have not seen her or spent time with her in so long. So it was so fun to catch up with her. And then we did go to, on the way back from Gaucher, we did stop by the thrift store in Ocean Springs. And um, yeah, they didn't have anything that day. So you just never know, but we had a great day. We spent several hours together and it was so much fun. And uh, had my first pumpkin spice of the season. She wanted to go through Starbucks and she got her some kind of drink. And I was like, I needed some energy and I needed to feel better because I was still battling the allergies and stuff. So I got me a coffee, a pumpkin spice, and it was so good. So then James got home that afternoon and we went to Home Depot. Well, you know the deal about the blind. And that was it. Um, and uh, just a very nice weekend. Yesterday, we just took things really slow. Didn't do anything. Um, he built that shelf like last night. And that was pretty much all we did. Um, he grilled, of course. But now today, I gotta get busy. I need to sweep my floors and wipe some stuff down. And I've already got up, made my bed, and did some tidy up there. I need to put a load of laundry on to wash. You know, just the everyday fun stuff. So, um, I will catch up with y'all in a little bit. Hey y'all, it's a new day. I am headed to pick up some lunch and take it to James and have lunch with him. I haven't had lunch with him in quite a while. Um, so, gonna do that. And while I'm over here in Pascagoula, I'm probably gonna go into that little church thrift store that I don't go to very often. <clears throat> you know, I just go kind of, sometimes when I'm over here, I haven't been in a while. So I'm gonna just check out, see what they have. Um, I'm gonna show y'all my shelf. We did get it hung up last night. I love it. And um, now that it's a wider and chunkier shelf, I have a little more area to decorate. And I tried putting back on there what I had on the other shelf. It just didn't look good. So I've removed some of the pieces. I'll bring them back out when I hang the other picture up for the spring and summer. And so now I'm kinda on the lookout for stuff to decorate that shelf with. I went through my stash and I just didn't really have what I needed. So I've got some things in mind I'll be on the lookout for. It's like anything else, it's a process. Which It's a fun process. So, gonna be um, looking for stuff for that. But I will show y'all what I have when I get home. And other than that, we really don't have a lot going on today. It's just been just a kind of a slow start to the day. Um, just not a whole lot going on. Um, this weekend, we're gonna be going out of town. It's the grandbaby's birthday, so mama's gonna come down and stay with Buster while James and I go out of town overnight and go to the birthday party. So that's gonna be fun and exciting. But other than that, we just don't have a whole lot going on. Um, just, just like, you know, sometimes it's like full speed ahead, tons of stuff happening, and then sometimes it's just like this. And honestly, I don't mind. I'm just soaking up this beautiful weather that we're having. I'm loving it. Um, it's just been great. Uh, fighting allergies per usual, but that's okay. That's just part of it. Um, but today's a good day. So um, let me get over here, have some lunch with him. We'll go check out that little thrift store. And who knows, maybe I'll have something to show y'all. <laughs> we shall see. All right, y'all, I just got back. Ate some lunch. I brought mine back. I didn't eat while I was with James. Um, not that y'all need to even know any of that, but Buster and I just got finished eating. And um, I did stop at three thrift stores on the way home. I went to the one in Pascagoula, the little church thrift store that I go into every once in a while. And I got some things there. And so on my way home, I passed the American thrift store. So I purchased a couple things there. And then I stopped by the Goodwill and I didn't find anything there. So, I'm ready to show y'all what I got. Are y'all excited? Okay, I'll start with the little uh, church thrift store on, in Pascagoula. So, let me show you what I picked up there. Okay, first thing I got was this beautiful picture. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. 
and this is the back of it and I paid $2.99 for it. And my plan for this is to hang it on the back of my bookshelf after, you know, the fall, I take the fall stuff down and everything. I think I have a spot for it then. It'd be pretty for like spring. So I picked that up for $2.99. I thought it was very pretty. Um, it says the Bombay Company. I don't know. Anyway. I just thought it was really pretty, so I picked that up. Oh, I hear Buster click, click, clicking. You wanna come up here and say hi? Come here. You wanna say hi to everybody? Yeah. Here's Buster. Mama's little sidekick. He's my little thrifting buddy. I love you. Okay, you wanna get down? <laughs> Hold on, let me put you down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Shh, Mama's doing a thrift haul. You wanna go outside? <laughs> let me let him outside and I'll be right back. Sorry, y'all. Pets and kids, right? <laughs> okay, sorry about that. <laughs> now for the other items I found at that little thrift store in Pascagoula. So I found this. It's poem poems that live forever. Selected by Hazel Fellman. It's this beautiful book. And, I mean, look at the pages, y'all. And I want to say, I can't remember when it was copyright. Hold on, let me show y'all, tell y'all. Uh, copyright in 1965. And I love this. I know I love my poems. So, I'm excited to read through these book these poems and got that and I love the color um it's pretty much true to color is what it's showing right here so I mean look at the water stain somebody has set glasses down on it got that one and then I got this one it says sweet Thursday by Steinbeck this is pretty green it was in a library in Pascagoula and um it's copyright date. This is the inside of it. It was 1954. Yeah, 1954. And it says, For Elizabeth with Love. But I just loved it. Oh my goodness, look, it's even got stains in the pages. It was well loved. So, got that one. And then I picked this one up. It is Spring, Summer, and Autumn by Hans Zinser. And sometimes you just need like a little thin book. And um, this was written on the inside. It says Melinda W.L. Wolf, Spring 2011. But its copyright date is 1942. So, I'm excited to kind of look through it and read some of its like, I guess it's like poems. That's what it reminds me of, it's like poems. So, I'm excited to look through this and read through it. And that's all I got from that little thrift store. Those books were $1.99 a piece, which I didn't mind. So then I stopped by the American Thrift Store on the way home and I picked up four items and let me show you what I got. First thing I picked up was this, this bunch of greenery, and it was only $3.99, and I thought that was a really good deal. I like the yellow in it because it looks like it's like dying out for fall, um, and I thought that was a really good price because even at Hobby Lobby, something this size would be at least $6, you know, it'd be like $12 and $6 50 percent off. So, I picked that up. I thought that was a really, really good deal on that. Then I picked up this little basket. I have something in mind that I was needing a little basket for. So um, I paid $2.99 for it and I really liked the scoop of it. And I think I'm gonna end up changing out what's on my shelf. I'm gonna show you all that in a minute, by the way, into this. And that's where some of that greenery is gonna come in handy. So that's my idea. Let's see if it works out, I'm not sure. Then I picked up this cute little brass heart box. 
Um, it, it was a price. And when I went up there to the register, I told him, I said, this one didn't have a price on it. He said 99 cents. I said, okay, I'll take it. But it's even got like some numbers on the back. Made in India, item number 1332. But I really like it. And I think it'll be a cute little piece. Like, I'm going to use it every day, but it'll also be cute for like Valentine decor. But I'm going to use it now. And then the last item I picked up was this beautiful blanket. I paid $3.59 for it. It is nothing wrong with it. It is beautiful. It is so soft. And I got to looking at it, and it's made in Italy. This is the brand. I don't know if that means anything to y'all. It didn't mean anything to me. It's made in Italy. It's 70% cotton, 25% acrylic, and 5% polyester. It just was so soft and neutral, and I really, really loved it. So I held it up and made sure there was no holes, no stains, or anything like that, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I picked that up, and it even has like the fringe on the bottom. So I grabbed that, and I really, really love it, and that is my thrift haul. So now I'm gonna go show y'all the shelf that James made me that I put over my couch and kind of explain what some of these items are gonna be for, like the basket, the greenery. I'll probably use the little heart and maybe even some of the books, I'm not sure. But let me take the camera down and go show you that. So this is my shelf he made. He is gonna make me the little things to cover the screws there. I'll stain them and we'll put them in. But this is the shelf up. There's that. Now, I kinda like this, but I'm thinking I'm gonna take this and put in that pot. I'm gonna do away with that. This little chicken I love, but I don't like this. I'm probably gonna get rid of that little faux dough bowl, dough bowl and get rid of that. I did kind of put some wax on my fate to kind of take down the white white, and these little birds have had the wax done on them a while back, and I just moved them here from a different area. So I'm okay with this, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> and let me back up and show you why. That, I just, I don't like that. So I'm fixing to play around with that with some of my stuff that I've got here and see what happens. I may have to get rid of the, all of that on that side, but we're gonna see. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what I've done, but y'all be gentle. This is phase one. <laughs> This is what, just using things that I had in my house with the exception of the little heart and that little basket that I purchased, everything else I had, um, and this is like phase one. I will be tweaking and critiquing, and it kind of lets me know what I need to be on the lookout for while thrifting, so let me show you real quick, but again, I say, please be kind and gentle. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. And I'm not hating it, but it looks so much better than it did before. Um, I did have all this ivy that I took out of a different plant and just kind of put it all together, put it there. There's that little heart, those little brass candlesticks. I've been thrifting for a while now. My little plate, I robbed that from the hallway. <laughs> um, the books that I just purchased my little birds, and then that's a little thrifted pottery pot. So, this is what it's looking like. I need a dolly, y'all. <laughs> can you believe I can't find a dolly? I'm gonna have to search my house and see if I can find a dolly. A dolly would be perfect on this, but I don't have one for right now. But, you know, again, I say this is the beginning stages of it. So, it looks so much better, fills this wall up so much more than that rinky-dink little shelf did. So, I'm happy with it. And like I said, this will like let me know what to be looking for and everything. So, yeah, that's it. All right, y'all. That is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.